I am very happy in this case when I see American comes here and I hope in the future there would be good ties and relation with America and thank you. Mongol Rally 2017 Today we are in Kazvin, Iran and we're headed to Alamut Castle. We were told that when we get there, we're going to be learning about the origins of the word assassin. So hopefully that turns out well. Uh, that's the hottest the engine's been since we started. We're, we're smelling like gas fumes or something in the car, so we're just trying to figure out where they're coming from. Is it coming from the gas can? But I don't think so. You know, it's not leaking. So it's most so. likely coming from the, the actual engine? Yeah. How is that going to affect us in the future? We're going to go passes that are twice as high as what we just went up, so it's just something we got to keep an eye <laughs> on and try and figure out. Right, right. So as it turns out, these castle ruins are on a giant mountain, which doesn't have an elevator or anything like that. Serious bummer. So we're gonna have to use our legs to climb up this mountain. I know, strange concept. We're gonna give it a shot. Made it to the top. Uh, it's about 7,000 feet up, and you can definitely feel it. You feeling the burn? Feeling the burn. It's a lot of steps. <laughs> so here is the Hassan Sappa Castle or Alamut Castle, located on the Alamut region of Kazmin. So, as the folklore goes, the leader of this castle drugged men with hash, took them into his garden and offered him women and promised them paradise if they followed him. He then sent these followers on missions to kill his enemies. These followers were named Hashishins, meaning hash eater, which later changed into the word assassin. All right, so we finally just made it down from the mountain and now we're gonna head back to Kazvin and uh, check out the city center and uh, grab some food. the name of the food, the traditional food of Iranian for 1,000 years. So eating this dish named Dizzy actually has a multiple stage process. First step is we tear our bread into pieces and put it in a bowl. And pour the broth from like a lamb and chickpea stew over top of it. And then you just eat it like that? Yes. Second stage of eating Dizzy. Then we put the leftover lamb and chickpeas in our bowl and mash it into a paste. Then you kind of just scoop it out into the bread and eat it like that? Yes. And what are the ingredients in this in this uh, drink? This is the kind of water mixed with the yogurt, rose flour, plus the mint inside. Ah, it's delicious. I am very happy in this case when I see American comes here, why they should be difficult for they coming? Uh, because already we had good ties, and I hope in the future there would be good ties and relation with America. And, uh, this was a good chance for me to be at uh, the American services. Thank you for Tanner, Anthony, and Tony. This so we made it back to our hotel in Kazveen. And I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, a broken record, a broken record. However, I'm gonna say it again. The people of Iran are some of the friendliest, most welcoming I've ever run across in my travels. And actually in these future videos, I'm hoping rather than just talking about it, showing more of our experiences with the locals. So if you're interested in that, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit this little bell button so you get notifications 
when these videos come out. And actually for a very, very limited time, we are offering this for absolutely free. You pay nothing. That's a lie. It's always been free. I don't know. Stay tuned. No camera, no.